Hi, everybody. Russ from the West End Network. Hope you're all safe and well. Happy Friday. Another week's gone. Um, but all feel a bit flat. Let's be honest. I feel a bit flat from yesterday. Didn't didn't get the result we really wanted, but it's only half time. As Brian Deer kept on telling me, it's only half time. Um, so let's see what happens in the set in the in the second half, so to speak, next Thursday. And, and safe travels to anyone who goes out who's going out to Leon next week. Hopefully, the weather will be a lot nicer than it is here at the moment. Um, and uh, <laughs> what we do so today is the eighth of March, no, not March, 8th of April's edition of Hammers Headlines in association with KUMB.com. And we take the headlines from around uh, the news world in the last 24 hours and report the findings and the highlights back to you guys, as I said, in, in association with KUMB.com. Three stories, as per usual. The first one affects is around yesterday's story uh, in terms of what a winker, what a winker. Um, and... Whether West Ham will appeal Aaron Cresswell's red card. So you all know what happened yesterday. Very, very soft red card. Uh, not just that, but very poor referee decision. I mean, how many foul throws didn't he give? What about the one in the second half when the guy, it fell out of his hands and the referee went, I'll oh, take it again. What? And obviously the, all the, the fragmented play and the dark arts by Leon and they played that referee very well. I think Leon did in terms of a professional European um, performance by them. But whether West Ham will appeal Aaron Cresswell's red card is the question. Now, in the post-match press conference, any discuss, any question around the red card, the referee, Moyes was quick to dismiss uh, and, and not answer the question. Obviously, he got a yellow card at the end of the first half for complaining to the referee. Um, obviously, minutes after, seconds after Aaron Cresswell got sent off uh, as, as questioned be the last man um, on a very, very soft penalty. But whether we will appeal the, the red card, I, I I would like West Ham to appeal the red card. Um, if anything, to highlight the poor refereeing that we saw the whole throughout yesterday, the, the whole game. But I don't think West Ham will, in all honesty, um, because um, the fact is FIFA, UEFA could well see the appeal as being frivolous and extend Cresswell's ban even further. That's that's sort of the knife edge you're, you're on. And I think actually we could cope with with, with Crest not playing next week and Ben Johnson coming in at left back. So, uh, I mean, obviously, you know, UEFA will pick, handpick the referees for the specific ties and he was their choice. So to then go against his decisions is going against UEFA's decisions. So I don't think we're going to be appealing it, but we'll see in the coming days, that's for sure. Um, the, the second story is a little bit more of a, exciting story potentially in that West Ham are set for a seismic summer spending uh, according to uh, reporters and also club insiders um, obviously we have still plenty to play for it's only half time as, as old Stag said it's only half time to me um, but it won't be long until our tensions turn to what is possibly one of the most important summer transfer windows in the club's modern day history. We're very much at a crossroads at the moment uh, in that we need level, significant levels of investment to keep this trajectory that we want. That's a long word for Friday, but to keep the trajectory in terms of the progress we've made in the last two years under David Moyes. Also got a number of players out of contracts, retiring, uh, returning back to parent clubs on loan. So there's going to be a lot of a lot of arrivals needed, um, especially after the disappointment of obviously January window um, when Moyes vowed he would rather save his money and go big in the summer to get the players he actually wants. And obviously, we could Danny Krajinski coming in as well. There's high expectations. A host of quality players are needed in key areas such as up front, central defence uh, and, and left back as well before the Hammers even begin to address you know, the big turnover that is um, in the horizon. On the face of it, West Ham you know, could need at least six if not ten signings you know potentially um and obviously we know signing in so many players in one window um particularly with the prices quoted in january won't come cheap to the hammers and given the club's financials uh, failure to get deals done for you know from the players moyes potentially wanted in january some supporters are obviously understandably you know, cautious and uh, and reluctant to see what happens in the summer. Um, but there was exciting news on on two fronts coming from um, Jack Rossier, the Evening Standard reporter, and also Claret and Hugh, um, saying that West Ham are set for this seismic summer. Um, 
I mean, Clarence Hickok is that the O's are very much aware that new arrivals will be needed in various positions at the, at the summer of 2022. It represents a major rebuilding project. Uh, the club will be funding new signings from the Sky Money, plus any extra they receive in positional bonus payments, and obviously Europa as well. Um, new board member Danny Krajinski has remained quiet, very quiet since joining the board, but we understand any cash above £100 million required for new players could be supplied via one of his companies at a more competitive interest rate than provided by the high street banks so there we go so it's more than 100 million so we've seen figures of 150 million you know in terms of what we can spend but whatever happens i think it's gonna be a very interesting summer we're gonna see a lot of um a lot of to and fro a lot of rumors I, I must warn you there will be a lot of rumors in the summer so you may get a bit pissed off about them but we'll try and dissect them and bring you the most we think of the hottest room if that makes sense and starting with that starting with that um there's there's this guy uh, West Ham are one of three Premier League clubs who could potentially pounce for Bundesliga defender Musa Enikate. Enikate? 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 No. Uh, our report was claimed. Uh, well, we say three Premier League clubs, one of them Everton. So we say two Premier League clubs, hopefully, in the summer. Um, us and Newcastle and Everton are, are, are all being linked with him, according to a report in the Daily Telegraph. It's claimed he could leave Mons at the end of the season, by which point only one year left on his current contract. According to a report, there are several clubs of Champions League stature in the Bundesliga who want to keep um, Musa in Germany. However, the 26-year-old could get the offer of a new challenge in the Premier League by one of these three admirers. It appears West Ham have the most firmly established interest. Um, they've been looking in, apparently throughout the whole length of Ogbonna's injury. Finding defensive cover is obviously a, a priority for West Ham this year, particularly left-sided centre-backs as well. Um, and, you know, I mean, yeah, obviously we're currently depending on Zuma, Dawson and Diop. However, obviously there are reports that Diop could go back to his native uh, France potentially to Leon, um, and in turn one of his compa compatriots could replace him in the shape of Enkete, who's, who's obviously a French French uh, French player. Um, that would mark uh, his first uh, venture outside his homeland, um, and any other new league could could beckon for him. So we'll see what happens. He's valued at eight million quid. Uh, which seems a really shrewd signing, um, which would ob obviously allow other funds to be spent elsewhere. There's other Bundesliga defenders we're looking at as well, as, as well as Ligue 1, as we've said for the last few weeks. Um, he started 22 matches for Mons in the Bundesliga this season. Uh, he's, they've kept eight clean sheets. Uh, and he scored three goals. Uh, he's left-footed, ding, 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 um, which is a, a big plus for West Ham. Obviously, they're moving um, Zuma you know, potentially to, to the right side where I think he's he's far more comfortable. But then you've got Super Super Craig Dawson, best two million pound I've ever spent. So what do you think? Um who would you have? You know, if we're having if we're looking at a wish list, you know, who do you want to be that sort of that partner to Zuma? You know, is it is it Moose? Is it is it Moose? But is it Musa? Is it Malenkovic? Is it uh, Huber? Is it Stark? There's loads of players. Is it Tchaikovsky? Who do you want? Who do you want? And let us know in the comments below. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Short and sweet, just like me. Um, as I said, we'll be back here on Monday uh, for another Hammers Headlines. Tomorrow, this is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. Yes, we'll have the preview for the Brentford game. Watch alongs on Sunday for the Brentford game. Back to the Premier League. But it's, it's relentless now at the moment in April. Absolutely relentless. So um, if you're new around here, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a subscribe so you know exactly when we come on. We did a, a yesterday, we did a react, live reaction show outside the ground. We spoke to some Austrian irons. Um, Brian Deere walked past them, was shouted something there's a man having a wee it all, it all happened it was all happening yesterday so make sure you check that out and i did a live lunchtime show from outside the ground uh, just before which was bloody windy bloody windy but anyway take care everyone stay safe wash those hands get those jab appointments get those boosters get your passports ready for leon if you're going uh, stay lucky and stay cheeky and we'll see you guys very very soon take care my friends bye bye